So in this session, we are discussing how to remove duplicates from a table in Oracle. For that purpose, we have created this table called EMP dupes, having same content as that of employee table and having duplicate records corresponding to department number 30. The first step to start deleting the records is, for, is to identify the records in first place. So there will be a duplicate on EMP number, right? So these are the employee numbers which are duplicated and how many times are they duplicated? All of them are duplicated twice. I repeat the first step in order to identify the duplicates is doing an aggregation and finding out the occurrence have, uh, in the cases when the occurrence corresponding to a key is more than one. Second way of identification is using subquery. In this case, we'll compare the row IDs of both the tables on the columns on which we are uh, on which we are suspecting the duplicates to be there. For example, in the above mentioned table, we are suspecting the duplicates to be there on EMP number. So select star from. EMP dupes where let's alias this particular table as a where a dot row ID is greater than any of the value of select b dot row ID from now we are looking for duplicates from EMP dupes so we'll do a self join in between EMP dupes and EMP dupes where a dot EMP number is equal to B dot EMP number right mm -hmm. this should give us six records Now what we are doing here is, suppose there are three, uh, there are two duplicate records. So there are two row IDs generated corresponding to each row. Now we are identifying the row ID, which is the greatest, which is inserted at the latest. And we are removing all the rest of them. So whenever the row ID is greater than any of the values of row ID from EMP dupes, where EMP number is matching. The first step is identifying those records. So here we have identified those six records. Now what do we need to do if I want to change it into a deletion? Instead of select star from, I will write delete from. And we can see that six rows are deleted. Now let's see the content of EMP dupes. Let's try to identify the duplicates again. There are no duplicates. Since it's a DML and we have not pressed commit, so we can get those records back by pressing rollback. And that's exactly what I did just now. The third way is 
using rank function you guys remember everything from our previous sessions how to write a rank function You remember this syntax, right? Dance rank and C of them. Mm -hmm. But I have a question. Why we are use the uh, duplicates? Yeah. Your question is why we are deleting the duplicates, right? Why do we need to delete the duplicates? Yeah, yeah. In order to in order to maintain the cardinality in the table um, if we have the same information in same relation corresponding to the same attribute we don't want to replicate it multiple times we want to have a unique record corresponding to each attribute so that is why we need to in order to clean up the data we need to delete the duplicates from the data in some cases, we need to insert that data into, into some table which is having primary key on the attributes on which we are deleting duplicates on. For example, we are deleting the duplicates on e employee number and we want to insert that particular data, that particular data set into a table which is having primary key on employee number itself. It will not yeah. allow us to have duplicate values of employee number in that table. So for satisfying those conditions, we need to take care of duplicates or delete them and we are discussing the ways that how to do it okay okay thank you for your question We know that these 12 records are the records which are duplicated. Now let's select row ID from them. First of all, let's do a rank from this subquery, right? Let's rank from this subquery. Let's execute this query. What is the expected result out of it? What is the expected result out of it? right these 12 records now what do we need to delete here we need to delete everything which is not equal to one right uh, please unmute yourself can you all hear me 
Yeah. Shaki, unmute yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I prefer you guys to be responsive. Now, using this query, we have selected the 12 records on which we are seeing duplicates. Out of these values, if we'll just keep the one and delete the rest of them, we'll have the unique values, right? Right. Yes. So let's first of all select them. What is the name of our table? Here we do. How many records should we get here? How many records should we get here? One. One. Why one? Why just one record? So they may using Y Why just one record? We'll get all the twelve records and corresponding to R N not equal to one, we'll get six records. All the records which are duplicated, right? Yes. If I will include this condition, I will get exact six records which are duplicated. And if we, I will query on the e, uh, EMP dupes where row ID in these six records, I will get the exact six records which are duplicated. Now all I have to do is change this select query from select to delete close. How will I do that? Just replace select star from with delete from. Mm -hmm. There we go. Let's execute. How many records are deleted? Six. Let's check that the duplicate records are already deleted. Yes, they are. No rows returned. I'm going to roll back this. Now we will have the duplicates again. Why so? Because it's a DML. Because it's a DML. We have discuss three methods. Let's discuss the fourth of them using self join. We will join the EMB doof table with itself to identify the duplicates. Okay. Okay. So we will do select a star from EMP dupes. Or if you want me to call it EMP duplicates, uh, if you prefer that. So select star from EMP duplicates, alias this as A. Okay. Now what should be the next thing? Compare it with the row ID itself.
which table should we mention here? EMP dopes itself. Alias it as B, where A dot EMP number is equal to B dot EMP number. How many records should we get? All the duplicate records, right? Yes. Here are our six records. What we are doing here is we are selecting many minimum of row ID from EMP dupes wherever the employee numbers are matching. And any row ID which is which is greater than minimum of row ID corresponding to that employee number should get deleted. What do we need to do in order to convert the select statement into deleted statement? Okay. Let's execute. Six rows deleted. Going to roll back because I want to show you one more method of deletion of duplicates. It is, it is very similar to using the rank, okay? Using analytical functions. How did we use the rank function? This is how, right? Delete from EMP dupes where row ID in select row ID from row ID comma instead of rank we are I'm gonna put row number here. Partition by employee number, order by row ID. Now, do I need to partition this by row ID this time? I don't need to. I can, sorry. Do I need to order it by row ID? Since it's row number, I can order it by e EMP number itself. Let's see the result. How many records are expected? Six of them. What do we need to do in order to convert this select star from select star to delete? Correct? Six records deleted. How many methods have we discussed till now? We have discussed five methods of deletion of duplicates. How many duplicates are there? One is getting duplicated. Two is getting duplicated. So there are four records. Out of which there are only two distinct values. For what values of call one do we have duplicates? How will we identify that? Select call one comma count star from let's suppose the name of table is T1 group by call one having count star greater than one. What will this query return? This query will return these values. 
right on which particular values do we have duplicates and for what count do we have duplicates corresponding to one we have two records one and two corresponding to two we also have two records so each one of them is having two duplicates repeating twice row id is a pseudo column suppose the value of row id corresponding to this was 32 and row ID, the value of row id was 33 corresponding to this one the value of row id was 44 corresponding to this two and 46 corresponding to this particular two if i will do select star from t1 What would be the result? What would be the result? It will select everything from table A, which is aliased for which is an alias for T1, wherever row ID is lesser than maximum of row ID of T1. So basically it will select all the records where the row ID is not maximum corresponding to a duplicated record. So the values of row ID is suppose 61 and 62 corresponding to these two. Where, wherever the value of call one is matching with each other. So where if the value of call one is matching in this case and this case, this case and this case, right? So basically we have this, this selection. Now I am choosing all the row IDs which are lesser than maximum of row ID corresponding to call one. This is call one. What is the maximum of row ID corresponding to call one? It is 33. 33, right. And I am selecting, then I am selecting this one. So this one is neglected. Similarly, this will be neglected. The result of this query will be this and we'll end up selecting these two records right yes. now let's increase the number of duplicates Let's suppose that name of the table is T1 this time and the columns are call one and call two. If we'll execute the same query on this table, what would be the result? We know that this, this one is re repeating multiple times, right? So rest of the conditions are already nullified. We want to select we want to select all the cases wherever the row ID is not equal to maximum of row ID. It is less, less than maximum of row ID. What is the maximum of row ID corresponding to one? This one, right? So we'll end up selecting all the records.
I'm sorry. Who will tell me the value of this call to? Guys, I will select this one. Then corresponding to one, I have this, this, and this. So D, E, and F. I will just neglect the maximum of row ID, which is this one. Similarly, I will also neglect the maximum of row ID corresponding to B and C, which will be 12 and 13. This will be my result set. This is what I want to delete from my table. What will remain after I delete this from my table? What will remain? It would be 2B, 3C, and 1G. All the unique values, right? Yes. Thank you. So this is about deletion of duplicates. We have already seen the different methodologies using which we can delete the duplicates. I will give you some questions to practice it on your own. I will also post them in comments. Thank you so much for joining.